Right. Uh, any any funny options that we can fiddle with? Not really, no. Goodness, that must mean this is an RPG maker game. We're just going to make this bloody difficult. Nora. Uh, yes, please. I wish to be Nora. Rather than, uh, rather than nobly Nate. Another day with no progress. It's over. I'm done with this project. You seem to be reading the developer's diary. I've been searching everywhere. No Razorback Dolphin. It doesn't exist. How many people believe in me? Like, two. People I never even interact with. But at this point, I could never forgive myself. I must continue, even if I am the bottom. Goodness. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a little game called Deep Orange. Inch, um... No, not Deep Orange. Blood Orange. Something to do with bodily fluids and fancily coloured fruit, one presumes. Develop. Develop what? A video game? I'm not very good at that, but alright. Um... Uh, 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 yes! Marvellous success has been enjoyed. Right then, um... Gallery. What's this? Selfie or dolphin surface? Yes. It is a dolphin, or it might be a whale, or a Loch Ness monster, or goodness, I don't know. What's the other thing I've got? There's our picture of, of, of my... You need to cool it with the R shadow, friend. Right then. Um. Oh, if it's a sink, I like developing old Polaroids. That would begin to make slightly more sense. Right, what have I interacted with? Hello? Who is this? Um, it is me. Oh, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. You can't muster the breath to speak. Perhaps things will work out for you, but if they don't, know that I don't blame you. Even if the whole world is against you, I... Oh, I'm sorry. I have to end this. Your hand clenches as you try to speak. Have a good day, and remember to smile. Who am I speaking to, the Joker? Progress saved. Oh, my non-existent progress. Excellent. Um... What is this other thing that I've got? Oh goodness, I have a cool diving suit on. This is excellent. So yeah, this seems to be a little game in which you are um, hunting for a dolphin. Don't really know why you would just go to like a sea life center or something, but never mind. Um, dive or turn back? I wish to go diving. Sploosh. Indeed. Now I've got no idea what the controls are, and I think this game has something to do with um, shooting? Was this the game that I was looking at that was a shooter? I genuinely cannot remember. Um, but uh, it seems to be made an RPG Maker, or, or something vaguely visually similar to RPG Maker, which is nice, because it's been ages since we've had anything uh, in RPG Maker to play. Where the hell am I going? Can I like, jump down here? Oh, I can! Doesn't that make my life just a thousand times easier? Shouldn't there be a rope? As a bloke that knows nothing about diving or whatever, shouldn't there be a rope attaching me to my ship so that I can, like, be hauled back up? Is that not how these things work? There's a big boulder here. Not even entirely sure what this is. It looks like some sort of old castle or or similar sort of uh, construction. What under the sun is this thing? Some sort of big blob. Not really sure what it is. It is big and it is blobby, and that is about the best description I can give you. It's not exactly Oxford English Dictionary worthy, but it will have to do. Look at these funny, funny shiny plants. I don't remember reading about these plants. Hmm, they look more like fairy lights than they do plants. But, um... Oh, is that my oxygen down there at the bottom? Because I think that started at 100, didn't it? Yeah, and now it's going down. Okay, so do I need to sort of re find my objective before it runs out? Presumably, I, I, as I understand it. What under the sun was that? It's a big minnow. I, as I understand, it's a little difficult to uh, corral dolphins when you're suffocating. But, um, I can't move with wires, can I? No, I can't. One thing I really, really gets on my nerves about um, about RPG Maker is that you can, you, it's so rare that you can ever use WAS for things. You have to use the uh, the arrow keys, which is annoying because they have to reach all the way over to get them. What is this? It's a it's an undulating tentacle waving eldritch abomination thing. It's precisely what it is. I don't know. I've taken a photograph of it, and uh, weirdly, I didn't take a photograph of the last three I walked past. But never mind. Here is the dinosaur. Always pleased to see a dinosaur. I mean, not in real life. You know, it'd be terrifying to see one in real life. That isn't the point. Not entirely sure what that was. There do seem to be some funny carvings or something here. But um, 
I mean, I can press the button on that and it makes a funny noise, but beyond that, it doesn't really seem to achieve anything in my life. Um, should I go back outside? No, I suppose. See if, uh, see if there's anywhere else that we can go. I can't interact with that funny stone. Even though it does look similar to the other funny stone I was dealing with before. Nice splint. A bit, yes, but that probably drains my oxygen faster since I'm probably respiring at a greater rate. And now I've run out of puff. Excellent. Is there, uh, there, there isn't anything else around here, is there? Oh, there is, perhaps, a, oh, there's a pathway here I didn't see. Goodness, this is highly sneaky. I rather like this. Oh, goodness. There was a great big red fish. And some sort of rhinoceros dog. Excellent. Um, are we in like a stealth part of the game at this point? Should I be like vaguely quiet? Oh, it's like one of them games where you have to like push the little bricks onto the little lots. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Um, probably because I haven't thought about those games in like 15 years, but that isn't the point. I, uh, yeah, you, you, so you can only push them if you sort of, you can only push them, you can't like pick them up or, or, or drag them. So you have to, uh, you have to be facing it from the right direction. So, um, that much makes sense. Not a lot else makes sense, but never mind. I don't even know why. Why are we after this dolphin? Are we trying to like capture it for a for an aquarium or are we trying to um, study it or ask it the time? I don't know, but uh, I presume that there's some sort of rational reason for it. But um, got to be more rational the reason for these pictures of dinosaurs. I don't know where I'm going. There's a pathway off here to the right. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Am I trying to encounter? the dolphin now that I think about it because if the dolphin is my quarry quarry I meant quandary I think I don't know <laughs> thing you're chasing is what I'm trying to say I'm trying to use fancy words that I fully understand I am um, there's another rock here but I don't seem to be able to uh, make any sound by moving into this one um yes yeah if I'm after the dolphin then you would imagine that um this shouldn't be rocket science. You would imagine that I would, uh, I would want to encounter it rather than try to avoid it. I mean, it's called a Razorback, so I imagine it's at least vaguely violent. But um, hello. what a shot! What under the sun is that? I have no idea. It's like some big floating buoy. Were you expecting me, or is that a problem? Um, did, did you expect to see me here? We all were, since long before you set foot in our waters. Oh, do you own this bit of real estate? I do like what you've done with the place. I love the damp look to everything. It's really cohesive. She sets foot where she hasn't before, and assumes the place must rightfully be hers. Actually, no, I was just yammering on about how this place belongs to you, but never mind. Much as I would enjoy killing you, it would ruin the schadenfreude. Oh. Right. I... A slip of the finger. Is, is that your excuse for pickpocketing my wallet? Alright. Um... Schadenfreude, to the best of my knowledge. A hole in the ceiling. I should develop these photos. Oh, are you saying I can, like, leave? Press escape to the surface. Oh, all right. Um, Schadenfreude, to the best of my knowledge, means taking pleasure from the misfortune of other people. So, um, presumably the dolphin, as I assume that was uh, the person that we were talking to, was, um, was going to take great pleasure in watching me fall over and break my nose, or, or, or some such hor horrific thing. Do I have some photos? Yes! Bass relief! To me, it just looks like a snake with a severe spine problem, but never mind. The Dieter Star. Yes, I've got no idea what that is. Sorry, I thought it was something suspicious there for a second. Um, new photo of staircase and little demon doll with messy hair peeking out. Excellent. Hmm, curious. 
Sorry, um, as, as, as with the vast majority of RPG Maker games, this game is playing in a, in a window, not being full screen. I don't know what it is about RPG Maker and full screen, but they seem to have had an argument. And they, Oh, yes, I need to put my suit on, don't I? Of course, wouldn't want to go out looking improper now, would I? That would just be totally unacceptable. <clears throat> it's better. I, um... Yeah, so it's playing in the window, and the, the, the file explorer is open behind it. And that, uh... I thought a new file appeared in, 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 in the in the list of the files. But I'm uh, I'm not wholly sure that that's actually true. So uh I'll not be talking total rubbish. Right, is this okay, this is back where we uh, this is straight back to where we, we, we began, so that is at least good. So can I get through here at all? Can I scoot can I scoot my boot? I scoot I do not seem to be able to boot in my scoot. Never mind. Um No. Alright then. So presuming that there's nothing over here or anything, there just seems to be some funny sort of compass symbols on the floor. But beyond that, I don't see anything of much use or interest. So uh kitty oh, I wanted to just have a look around. So I presume that um That uh, 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 that was just like a pit stop, if you like. Oh, you move these things back, you beast. Now, how am I going to do this and do it properly and correctly without mucking everything up? The answer to that... Hmm... The answer to that is I don't actually know. I don't actually know, and I'm scared to do it in case I ruin everything. Um... Let me try scooching you down. Well, now I've got to scooch this to the side, haven't I? Which is just going to block the corner. Yep, I've mugged this up royally. You think I just step over the bleeding thing? But apparently not. Oh, yours! Oh, I've ruined everything, and I'm sincerely sorry. Can I surface and come back down and hope that that has been reset? So that I can embarrass myself ever so slightly less. I don't mean to be rubbish at every single thing that I ever attempt to achieve in my life. I just sort of am. I've never quite diagnosed the issue. All right, let me uh, let me try this again, and um, and this time I will have the benefit of hindsight. I guess the alternative would be to push one of these along. Um, but the thing is, is, if I push this bottom one along, what I want to do is push that middle one up. But then if I push this one along to the bottom, I won't be able to get below that rock. Hmm. Hmm. Seriously, how the hell do you actually get through this? So what that's going to do is just get pushed to the side again, and then it'll just bollock everything up again. Is it? Is that trying to act as like a blockade to say that I'm not supposed to go that way? Because there's easier ways of doing that, kid. But we'll pretend for the time being that that's that 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 is what it's saying, and um. Check that there's nothing else of interest around here. I'm sorry, what? What was that noise? Yeah, I pressed enter while I was standing on top of that other platform and made a funny noise. What the hell was that? Was that me interacting with the wall? Or was that me interacting with this in some form? I don't know. Oh, one of the pillars have gone. In fact, both of the pillars have gone. Oh, whoopty doodle I was getting completely stuck on that puzzle, and I was half convinced it wasn't possible. So, um... I was, uh, I was a little worried that I'd completely spoiled the game. So, uh, I am grateful that, uh... Okay, it wasn't the glyph on the wall, it was the panel on the floor. That much at least makes sense. Okay. So there's certain panels on the floor that I have to step on in order to lower these pillars that are obscuring my journey. Strange bit of 
music reminds me of a piece of music out of the old Tintin cartoons. Bizarre thing to be reminded of, but never mind. Um, get down, the light doesn't really penetrate far enough for me to see what I'm doing. So I want to push... So there's the one in the gap in the wall, I need to push that one to the right. But the one before that, I need to push it up, I need to push it down. So what I need to do... Is push this one in this direction, then push that one in that direction, then push that one in that direction, and then push that one in that direction twice. Now, do I want to stand on this or do I want to move the rock onto it? I don't know the answer to that question. Perhaps, uh, perhaps putting the stone onto it would be a mistake, or perhaps it wouldn't be. I have absolutely no idea. So, um, Let's see what else we've got here. There seem to be seem to be uh, other little uh, things that are preventing my progress. Problem is, if I move this stone forward, I'm then gonna I'm then gonna get stuck because I'm not gonna be able to um to go any further. Didn't also lower the ones over here, did it? No, of course not. That would be. That'd be too easy for the Temple of Dinosaur pictures. Um, yeah, again, I need to like get around the side and push them, push them out of the way to the side rather than push them forward. But I don't really get how I'm supposed to do that. There aren't any other panels on the floor, are there? I don't know. I'm gonna try pushing that onto there. Just in case that brings about a more permanent uh, get down. I'm being reminded of some of the music from Lego Island. Sorry, this this piece of music is um I've never heard it before, but it's one of those sort of bizarrely familiar things. Because pushing this down isn't going to achieve anything. I mean, I'll do it, but oh, it is going to achieve something because there's a gap here, but I couldn't see it because it's too dark. Turned out that all of my problems stem from the fact that I am a big stupid face. Oh well, never mind. Some things are just incurable, such as big stupid face itis. I genuinely do amaze myself sometimes by the new depths that I reach, and I don't mean that in a diving sense. The new depths of stupidity that I actually managed to achieve on. Uh, every new recording session somehow managed to amaze me. Hello Mr. Fish person, you're not the sort of fish that I'm looking for. Are dolphins fish? I feel like dolphins probably aren't fish. I feel like dolphins are possibly mammals. Where did Mr. Fish go? I do not know. But I feel like um, there's going to be something waiting for me behind that is going to bite my face off. No, no there isn't. There's just a blockage. And I can't go back this way. Hmm. Hmm. Oh goodness! I have. Oh, oh! I'm being. I'm being. Um, spit roasted. Kitty hounds. Don't see many humans around these parts. Yeah. And if you didn't look quite so human yourself, you might see more of us. I don't see a lot of talking dolphins either. Hmm. Yeah. Well, exactly. I suppose that you wouldn't. I mean, do you really see much these days? Eh, no, I just kind of live down here. I see enough to know I'm in the right place. What would you know about me? From how aimlessly you wander, probably more than you know about yourself. All right, it's, it's not my fault I have low IQ. I'm doing my best. Now leave me be. I have no interest in such a boorish person. Goodness. You're not like the other creatures. I don't know about unlike them. I'm not here to murder you on the spot, if that's what you mean. Hmm. Do you do anything useful? <laughs> yeah, he does his taxes uh, every weekend. He stares at you silently for a moment. A few would rather talk than fight, but don't count on them being as nice as I am. Now, run along. I have nothing more to say to a person like you, apart from the fact that you keep speaking to me. Um. Yes, yes, yes. Kitty aunt. I serve as a reminder. To what exactly? I must admit I have forgotten, mainly because we didn't get time to read the text, but never mind. It should all come back to me eventually, I am certain. Doesn't that make you pretty bad at your job? Perhaps I could help jog your memory. If only it were that easy. Tell me, 
Do you ever feel you've forgotten something? Yes, regularly when I walk into things. And by walk into things, I don't mean like walk into a street post and crack my head open. I mean like walk into a room and forget why I came in. Right, we all do. But sometimes the things we forget are very important. I agree, I forgot my pin number once and that was very embarrassing in the shop. You are ignorant. Yeah, yeah, hence me forgetting my pin number. But how much of that can I blame on you? And nature versus nurture. Big old debate, innit? Whatever the case, I grow tired. I should take your questions elsewhere. Oh well, we uh, we at least have something else. Okay. Excuse me, I do sincerely apologise. Didn't get a great deal of sleep last night. We have at least confirmed that these uh, funny-faced dolphins do exist, and that they like their mascara. Other than that, we don't know a heck in load about them. Also, don't have the faintest idea where I am, but I seem to be walking along this uh, pier of uh, darkness and destiny, which is uh, quite exciting. Oh. Get to go through a little red door, because nothing good is ever found on the other side of a red door. Hello, who are you? Death is unlike what you may have guessed. An awakening, an enlightenment, a freedom. Do you feel free, my love? Do you feel alive, searching for those bogs and suffering tenderly, tirelessly? Where I come from, bog means toilet. I presume that's not what Nora's down here for. You don't even know what you're looking for, do you? I am looking for a eyelash batten dolphin. So lost, so miserable. I wish it weren't so. Just take a deep breath. It's okay. No one is going to hurt you anymore, is usually what people say, directly before they hurt people. A journey of a thousand steps, just for me, and you've made it. You can rest now, if only for a moment. You've earned it. Do you remember our promise? The one we made long ago? What, the promise to me deaf with that noise you were playing? I've grown so tired of being alone. It feels so cold within these waters. Well then, go to the beach, I don't know. No, I think I'm going to leave you and your funny old timey dress and uh, scamper away before I get murdered. Thinking of the future, I wished you'd look at me for once. If you didn't look so scary, I might do that. Perhaps I became a curse in my own way for that. So relieve yourself of my burden. Return satisfied with what you now remember. Forget me and what you've done. Bury the past and live in blissful ignorance. Because my love was unneeded, and now you truly, undoubtedly, and wholly are free. Oh, and that's that. That's nice. I, my Gideon. That is a very weird game. <laughs> very weird and bizarre game. So I wasn't coming down here looking for a razorback dolphin beast. I was coming down here to meet my old mother. Old Mother Hubbard that I left in the cupboard. Alright. <laughs> Don't really know why. <laughs> Strange game. I mean, RPG makers are always a bit weird. And, um... And I'm grateful for that. I, I like bizarre little RPG maker games. Um... Because we're in that terrible limbo of being between 20 minutes and 30 minutes, which means it's too long for a shotgun and too short for a standalone, I'm going to go through that again and make the different choice this time, uh, depending on if it uh, if it uh, allows me to um, to replay it, which I assume that it will. Then I will uh, I'll go through the game again, and I will see if I can make the other choice. And we'll see what, uh... I do like this music, it's very nice music. I, um... I will see what the other option is, and, uh... See how our life changes. Although, weirdly, this little, um... Rusty motif that we've got here would seem to imply some sort of happy person. Implying that they, uh, they made the right decision. But, uh... Perhaps they're only happy because they've forgotten what they, uh forgotten what they left behind. Right then, let me um let me see what the other ending is all about. Oh you were gonna forgot about you.
I do get a certain joy watching it. Oh yeah, I forgot there were, there were different dialogue options here, and instead of saying, um, were you expecting me, I said, uh, isn't that a problem that I'm here? It certainly is, but I do get a certain joy from watching you, so for now I watch. Well, that's kind of you, I'm glad to know someone's watching. How flattering. You would do well to watch your tongue. It's rather difficult, I can't really see it from up here, but never mind. Lest one of my brothers makes it their meal. Is that supposed to be some sort of threat? Well, if you plan on challenging us, it becomes a promise. Oh, I see. So this is just not of a door log that I can roll through for no particular point. Oh, so I'll best be going then. A wise choice. But on the fact that I don't actually leave, and I uh, continue to yammer on. What can I say about, um... I'll do my best. I'll be a good boy. You would be wise to do so, for you may yet keep your life. Your sullen demeanor bonds, bores me. Maybe you should get on with what you are here for. That much would be sensible. Right then. <laughs> right then. Off to old Mother Hubbard in the cupboard again. Am I going to get a different phone call this time? Afternoon, Nora. Didn't think I'd hear back from you so soon. Oh, I can actually speak. Say, so, I'm sorry. Not entirely sure what you're talking about, but I forgive you. You should know I'll always be here for you, always and forever. Your heart thumps in your chest. That was a creepy laugh. Speechless. Looks like another win in my favour. Hmm. Looks like lunch is done. I'll have to call you back later, alright? Goodbye. Very interesting. How very mysterious. Oh, I should probably develop the things first, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm just going to do it with my great big thick gloves on, because that's going to make this uh, so much simpler. Right then, if anything else doesn't occur in order to uh, get in the way of old Mother Hubbard, I'm off for my date. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. It's such a dreadful concept. Oh, uh, dear. It's working this time. Are oh, you have to step on all of them? I thought you only had to step on one of them. Hmm. I apologize it's a bit late to say this, but I apologize if the game looks particularly fuzzy for you. It's um playing in quite a small window, so when that gets blown up to almost full screen for uh for you, the pixels are gonna look a bit messier. But I apologize for that. That's interesting. I um I mean, after stepping on the first panel, I did step on all of them. I thought you had to step on them in a certain sequence, was the thing. I thought you had to uh, make a pattern, and that uh, once you stepped on the right one, it would make a certain noise. But uh, apparently, I was being wrong and stupid, and not for the first time. Oh, my head. Actually, I'm in my back, to be honest with you, but never mind. Just leave it there, like a broken record. <laughs> Alright, I'll just leave my back here and I won't fix my terrible posture. Not that it'll do you any good now that you've travelled all the way here. Right. There's a lot of random dialogue in this game that doesn't make a lot of sense, but I didn't really, uh, didn't really catch before. Right then, I'm nearly finished. If I could only... What criticism for something I didn't intend? You know, I think that's a little cruel. What on earth are you talking about? I don't know, I seem to be clicking through the dialogue without even realising what I'm yammering on about. Can I just get on with my life? <laughs> you should bear responsibility for what you have failed to do. All this talking tires me out. Except you still yammer on, kitty on. I can't remember the pathway to get out of this. Um. Right then. I think, having traversed through several dialogue options that I didn't realise were there before, we, um... We can go back into the room of Red Destiny and have another conversation with dear old, uh, dear old Medusa, judging by the, uh, judging by the haircut. Right then, um, were there any other options that I could, I, I could use in the dialogue, or was it just go or stay? I remember not. Also, is it just me, or is the eyes of my little, uh, profile picture, for want of better terminology, uh, in the lower right hand corner changed. I'll stay with you. I'll, I'll look after you. I don't know. I'll make you breakfast in the morning or something. I don't know. Do you have a kitchen down here in the bottom of the sea? We'll never be apart again. No more running. No more searching. Just you, me, and the tides of eternity. 
and since you've decided to stay, why don't you let yourself rest for a little while? That's right, close your eyes and let go. Let the waves wash everything away, your fears and your worries. Let the water steal your breaths as it did mine. Oh good, I'm being drowned, excellent. Until you are no more and there is only us. Oh, okay, so you don't really get like a vastly different ending or anything, you just get some slightly different dialogue. Interesting. Well, I think the option to stay with her is to die, because it seems like I'm getting drowned. So, um, yeah, it seems like my options are either to leave or to, uh, or to die, which is, uh, stark, if nothing else. But, um, I rather like this. It's a little bit mysterious, but it has a lovely little uh, grungy art style that makes uh, a lovely use of the sort of red orange colour scheme that it's going with. I wouldn't have minded a little bit more explanation of what the story is, but I feel like a lot of these games enjoy leaving questions unanswered so that they can seem mysterious. And uh, sometimes I wonder if even the developer knows what under the sun the uh, bizarre imagery is all supposed to mean. So, um, why is there a talking dolphin wearing mascara? I don't know. Why was there a talking buoy called the Dota Star or whatever it was called that um, seemed to be a bit rude? I don't know. Why was there a telephone that we could speak to somebody? I don't know. Why were we dealing with Polaroids? I don't know. But, um,. It was interesting, and it was uh, unique, and I rather enjoyed it, and I hope you did as well. So thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'll look after each other, and good night. Yeah, 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 I know, tentacle monsters. We all love a Wednesday afternoon and a tentacle monster, don't we? Ugh, can't get enough tentacle monsters in my Wednesday afternoons.